Although the sports-based cartoons in general are, are not my favourites, I have to say Bugs Bunny's Wild World of Sports is a pretty good idea, and if you do like the sports-based Warner Brothers cartoons, I think you'll rather enjoy this. This was released originally in 1989, and it's a series of sports-based clips, previously existing cartoons. And I have to say the focus on Bugs Bunny isn't as prominent as I'd expected, but this is the third or fourth Warner Brothers special where they've used a character, a character's name in the title and it hasn't necessarily been the main focus. So I think I learned to just accept that that's the case. That's not to say Bugs doesn't feature. He definitely does. But it's not exactly just Bugs Bunny. But we have these series of clips. Um, quite a lot of clips. Some of them, I will say, weren't evenly weighted. Some of them we got quite a lot of the clip. Some of them we just got a small amount of the cartoon and I guess that's okay if the ones where there's a lot of focus are ones you really like. So I think that's all down to personal preference. Having a bit of variety is sometimes good, but there were some clips where I wish we got more of it because I particularly like that, that cartoon and I wish they'd focused on it more. So that's just something to bear in mind that depending on which types or which cartoons are your personal favourites, you may not like the length of some of the clips. But I think everything is edited together quite nicely. It introduces the sport and then we get in with the cartoons. And we do have a, a decent mix of characters. Um, obviously Bugs and Daffy, uh, Yosemite Sam, uh, a couple of others. And it has a pretty decent overarching narrative that I thought worked quite well. The clips do tie together quite nicely. It's well presented and it's a nice little package of sports-based cartoons. As I said, I'm not the biggest fan of sports-based cartoons in general. Baseball, I don't mind. Others, it depends on the quality of the cartoon. But thankfully, because some of the clips were quite short, if I didn't like that particular cartoon, then it meant, you know, we moved on to the next one quite quickly. Bearing in mind it's packing in, I want to say maybe 15 or 20 cartoons. There is a list on Wikipedia or um, on fandom.com, but I didn't... I didn't make a note of exactly how many there were, but it, you know, it's a decent amount, which just goes to show how many sports-based cartoons Warner Brothers did. But I think it's a fun way to have an overarching theme, tying everything together nicely. I do like it when we have, you know, I, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of clip shows in general or compilations, but as long as there's something that ties them together, I think it can be quite a fun way to compare. For example, there are multiple baseball cartoons in this or multiple involving swimming was there more than one involving swimming? I think so. The point being, when we see the same sport featuring in different cartoons with different characters, it's quite interesting to see how they chose to approach that sport in that moment and whether we have the same kind of humour. So it's actually pretty good fun and very fun to analyse. The sports aspect, I could take or leave, but I, it, since it's the main theme of it, it's only something I can watch if I'm feeling like I'm in the mood for sports cartoons, which is absolutely the case just now. I was definitely in the right mood for it and I really enjoyed it. I think you'll love it if you like sport-based cartoons, but if you're just a fan of Warner Brothers in general, I think you'll appreciate how well packaged it is and how much of a variety there is in terms of both the clips and the characters. Bugs Bunny's Wild World of Sports is, yeah, I'd say it's a pretty decent special.